The X13W 10 braid from Weston came in at number five in the tensile test. We tested the PE 0.4 variant and we calculated the tensile strength as 442,534 PSI. The measured average diameter was 160% of the quoted number and the maximum break was only 5% over the claim value. Position number four was the Yozuri Super Braid. The 30 pound braid rated excellent in the tensile test with a result of 443,049 PSI. However, it fell short in other areas. Being an X4 braid, it does have a very large diameter variation with an average of 0.33 millimeters and the actual maximum break was over 200% of its rated 30 pounds. The 15 pound suffix 832 is in third spot for tensile strength down one position from last year with a measured value of 457,750 PSI. Testing of this line revealed a maximum break of 36.52 pounds, which is over 240% of its claimed 15 pounds, and a diameter of 0.256 millimeters on an advertised 0.220 millimeters. Second spot in outright tensile strength, down from its top spot last year, is the Verivus 8 braid in PE2. In our testing, the sample achieved 463,626 PSI. An extremely high quality and accurately rated line, it had a maximum break of 38.36 pounds on a rating of 37 pounds. Diameter is also very accurate, which we measured at 0.262 millimeters on an advertised diameter of 0.242 millimeters. In top spot for outright tensile strength was the Zukibo Super Nanofill in PE 0.8. This line managed a staggering 492,093 PSI, with an average maximum break value of 15.56 pounds on a 14.3 pound rating. Diameter average was 0.161 millimeters on a claimed 0.15 millimeters, and the out of roundness value was just under 15%. It is interesting to note that we tested three different colors of this line, all in PE 0.8, with the green taking top spot, orange coming in at number nine, and the white at 58. Position number five was the Ice Tech by Power Pro, down two spots from last year. We tested the five pound version of this line and found it to maintain 46.86% of its ultimate strength in the abrasion test. This line has a quoted diameter of 0.1 millimeter, but we found it to average at 0.239 millimeters, which is 239% of the claim diameter. The line also tested at over 300% stronger than its claim five pounds. The Hollow Core X16 braid by Jerry Brown in 100 pound came in at spot four. This line broke at 58.51 pounds of its tested maximum of 123 pounds, which equates to 47.35% of its maximum strength. Being a hollow braid, diameter measurements are a challenge and our results were significantly higher than the line's claimed diameter. The Zukibo Super Nanofill PE 0.8 managed position three in the abrasion test with a result of 47.92% on a 
on a maximum break of 12.48 pounds. Diameter was measured at 0.169 millimeters or 112% of its claimed 0.15 millimeters. And with a diameter variation of only 10%, it confirms this line is extremely round. Down from its top spot last year is the Verava Shore Master in PE 0.8, with a result of 53.92% in the abrasion test. Interestingly, this braid was rated at 16.7 pounds, but non-abrasion maximum break was found to be only 64.19% of this value at 10.72 pounds. Diameter was measured at 130% of its claimed 0.153 millimeters. In number one spot this year is a line found on AliExpress called the JOFX16. We tested this line in PE20 and it managed to maintain 63.1% or 89.2 pounds of its maximum strength when placed in our standardized abrasion test. Maximum strength was measured at 141.36 pounds on a 200 pound rating and the diameter measured an average of 0.878 millimeters on a quoted 0.8 millimeter. The MyFind Demon Strong line in 20 pound came in fifth place in the FG test. The footage of this testing is still unreleased, but during the FG test, it achieved an average break of 18.52 pounds, or 94.54% of the maximum break, which was 19.59 pounds. The line diameter was measured at an average of 0.25 millimeters, which is 208% of the claimed 0.12 millimeters. In number four spot was the Avani Sea Bass line from Verabus in PE 0.8, down one place from last year. This line managed to retain over 95% of its ultimate strength when tied in a FG knot, with a result of 95.58% of its maximum break, which we measured at 14.47 pounds. Diameter was measured at 0.187 millimeters on an advertised 0.153 millimeters with a variation of 16.6%. Another line that is making a second appearance is the Ice Tech by Power Pro, also down one spot from last year. With a fifth place in the abrasion test, it also achieved third place in the FG Knot test. The line managed an average FG break of 14.47 pounds which is 95.64% of its ultimate strength. With only 0.74 pounds difference between all three tests, it proved to be one of the more consistent lines we have ever tested. Following on from third in the abrasion test, the Super Nanofill line from Zookibo also achieved second place in the FG knot test. When tied in an FG knot, it broke at 12.08 pounds, which works out to be 96.79% of its ultimate strength of 12.48 pounds. The green version of this line also topped our tensile strength test. Taking top spot in the FG knot test for the second year in a row was the Microfly line in PE 0.2 by Kingdom. With an astonishing 100% knot strength, this braid managed to maintain an FG break value of 7.47 pounds on a maximum break of 7.45 pounds. With a rated strength of 9 pounds, it achieved 82.78% of this value. However, its measured diameter of 0.1 
46 millimeters was over 208% more than the claimed 0.07 millimeters, with a high diameter variation of 41.8%. First up is the Stroff Type E braid in 7.5 kilograms. Despite not placing in the top five in any single test, this braid reached number five position in our overall top braids with a final score of 99. The line featured here is rated at 16.5 pounds, which we found to break at 20.78 pounds and had a diameter of 0.212 millimeters. The Variva's 8 line in PE 0.6 took home the number 4 spot in our best braids, another braid that didn't reach the top 5 in any individual category. However, the exceptional results across the board allowed it to secure its spot in the top braids. We measured this line to break at 12.09 pounds on a rating of 13 pounds and a diameter of 0.152 millimeters. In position three is another line from Veribus, this time the Seabass X9. With a total score of 55 and just missing the top 10 in the abrasion test, consistency across all areas solidified its spot in the top five. The line featured here is rated at a PE 1.2 or around 25 pounds, which we found to break at 21.68 pounds and had a diameter of 0.209 millimeters. The Ica Metal X9 from Barabas managed spot number two in our overall best braids for 2026. With a total score of 52, this line actually tied with the WFT Gliss line. However, that specific line appears to be very hard to obtain, so we have excluded it from the final rankings. We tested this Veribas line in PE 0.6 and found a maximum break of 10.08 pounds and an average diameter of 0.147 millimeters. The number one braid based on our laboratory testing was the PE 0.8 Super Nanofill line by Zucabo. We tested three different versions of this fused line and they all performed exceptionally well with the green line finishing in top spot overall, the orange in second spot and the white in seventh in our overall top braids. This specific line had a combined score of 44, putting it eight points ahead of position two. Our understanding is that the Fire FT from Zucubo that we had previously tested and finished in top spot last year is the same as this line. However, it was incorrectly labeled when sent to us, so we have not included it in our top lines. Saying that, it is still in number six position in the overall best braids. There are concerns about the longevity of fused lines, which we cannot quantify at this stage, but that point aside, this line has consistently tested as a fantastic line in controlled laboratory tests.